What's up? Welcome to the episode of Gizmo Slip. Today I'm here with Matt Barnett from Banana Explosives, Darren Dyke from Beyond Slow Motion. This is explosive tape. Can you tell us a little bit about this explosive tape? Yeah, what this is, is it's plastic explosive. It, it's basically a linear shape charge. It's got a little bit of a copper powder liner right there and a jacket of foam. And when you place it on a target and set it off, it just works like a giant cutting torch, except really fast. So what direction does it actually cut? In it's this gonna scenario? cut out this way. Okay, so basically normally like a deck cord will be explosive and be not directional, just kind of explode all around. All around. This stuff is designed to go shunk right into a target and slice it so you can cut like a steel door in half. Yeah, that's right. You can put it on hinges, a door, whatever. And this stuff right here will cut up to about an inch thick. So I expect it's gonna cut quite a few phones. Right, okay, so and this is a crap ton of iPhones. Uh, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna, it's gonna be, gonna be awesome. straight crazy. I think this is the most phones that we've ever destroyed in a single video. Probably so. By like a lot. By a lot. Oh <laughs> yeah, that's definitely true. <laughs> most phones I ever blown. <laughs> <laughs> so without further ado, let's get these phones set up with the deck court wrapped around them and see what happens. All right. Yeah, buddy. Right. So stacking them is not exactly gonna be the easiest task. We're not gonna stack them. So the, my goal here is to put them all in like a circle, if you will. Like that. Well, like that. Oh no. <laughs> He's making it even worse. This is gonna be hard. <laughs> The folks over at Ghost Tech wanted us to try putting an iPhone 6S with a Ghost Tech Atomic 2.0 case and without a Ghost Tech Atomic 2.0 case in the middle of these deck cord iPhones. So that's exactly where they're gonna go. Boom, just like that. These are two functional iPhone 6S's. That phone is on. Yep, they're, they are both on and we'll see how well they do faring in the middle of this explosive batch. This is so ridiculous right now. So many iPhones. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, explosive tape time? Yeah, Put right. Put that around? All right. Dang. Dang. Imagine how much all of these iPhones cost when they first came out. That's what I was thinking. This is like 50 times, what, 600 a piece? Mm -hmm. yeah. How much is that? Well, we need to get like 3,000 or something. No, it's 30,000. 30,000? This is like $30,000 worth of iPhones when they first came out. Right here. <laughs> 30,000? 30,000. $600 a pop times 50. <laughs> the damn thing himself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Matt Barnett's gonna be back here with the detonator. This cable is going to fizzle the whole way there, right? Catch on fire. Fizzle kind of, at a pissed off speed. It'll, it'll, it'll really, really, really fizzle. At 2,700 feet per second. Right. And then we're gonna capture slow motion from this Phantom right here. Phantom HD Gold. And that's gonna be going at 1,550 frames per second. And then Darren is gonna be capturing with his Phantom up there. You can zoom in on him. 6,800 frames per second. He's gonna be doing 6,800 frames per second up there. And also recording with an A6300 over there. Well, when I fire this off, that uh, cutting tape's gonna cut through every phone that it's touching. How deep it goes to the center, anybody's guess. Yeah, you think the two iPhones in the very center will survive? I don't reckon so. You don't think so? What no. do you think, DJ? No, I don't think so either. They're gonna, gonna die. They're gone? Yeah. All right, Darren, do you think the iPhones in the center will survive? Do I think the iPhones in the center will survive? The two in the center. Not likely. That thing's designed to go through an inch of steel. This is plastic, for the most part. I think 50-50 chance. Post your opinion in the top right corner, see what you think, and let's see what happens. It's gonna be freaking epic. Here we go. Darren's ready. Are we ready? You ready, DJ? Ready. Okay, your protection on. Okay, fire and hold it. Three, two, one. DJ, <laughs> I was just, you hear the rain of iPhones coming down after the fact. Wow, DJ. 
to see something crazy now we tried to look at the footage in the field but it was really hard to see in the sunlight and everything so i'm taking a look at it now in post and holy crap all right here we go so here's the first clip from the phantom hd gold now when the plastic explosive goes off the camera rocks downward and back up and bounces because of the shock wave the force of the impact going through the ground and hitting it Freaking awesome, so many phones, and just like the fiery explosion looks so freaking epic. I'm just really, really stoked on this shot. And now taking a look at Darren's shot from up above. Now this one is at much higher frame rate, like four and a half times the frame rate, but yet it still goes off instantaneously. It just explodes and you can't see almost anything, just blinding white light with explosive fire. And that is the foam actually catching on fire. That's why it does that. And then you do get to see some chunks of the phone flying past. Now, if you pause it right as it goes off, there's one frame where the explosion is in partial action. Can you believe just one frame? That's freaking nuts. Ah, oh, it explodes so fast. We need to get a camera out here that can record at like 50,000 frames per second so we can see what it actually going off, like in a circle around it. It looks so cool. DJ, <laughs> Whoa. you just felt that in your chest, yeah. huh? <laughs> Holy crap. Did you trigger on time? Yeah, I did. As soon okay. as I heard that pop, I triggered. All the way back here by Matt, we have a outline of the phone. Here's a back to the phone with the Apple logo right there. And it's just straight up sliced in half. <laughs> wow, that is awesome. All right, so let's get in here, checking it out. All kinds of phones, different varying levels of damage. Like here's one that's partially cut in half. Here's one that is like just demolished, but it's not fully, it's like semi intact, you know? So but let's see if we can find one that's not just like utterly destroyed. So far, I'm not seeing any that are not just like completely destroyed somehow. Oh, here's the ghost tech case right here. Let's see if the iPhone lived inside of it. Whoa, it's really hot and that thing is toast. <laughs> wow, I mean, just the, the, the sheer level of force that goes into something like this is insane. There's no way that just a simple case could protect an iPhone from this level of power. <laughs> Here's the naked iPhone and that is much worse. Remember, these two iPhones were in the very center of all of those iPhones cushioning the, from the explosion and yet they're both fully destroyed. <laughs> they did not stand a chance. That's insane, huh? So insane. <laughs> you know what killed that was the concussion, the pressure, the overpressure, the actual right. the actual Monroe effect that does the cutting was stopped because that wasn't cut in half. That's you know, true. It's just, it's just overpressure that crunched it. But some of these that were closer like this one, you'll see, I mean, it's, it's in half because it was close enough but right. what happens is as that wave passes through media and then it opens into an air gap and then it goes through another one it loses a little strength each time big shout out to ghost tech for sponsoring this episode and sending these iphones for us to destroy Woo! if you're in the market for an iphone case that is both stylish and waterproof and helps prevent a damage from drops go check them out coupon code and link in the description awesome so we picked up a ton of pieces of all of these iphones so thanks matt so much for letting us blow up these iphones the freaking epic awesome uh, tell us a little bit about what you do out here. Well, Benetti Explosives is the company I run, and uh, we do a lot of strange things with explosives, but something you guys could enjoy is we do corporate events. So if your company wants something fun to do, come on out and see us. Cool, and we have Darren from Beyond Slow Motion, runs the Phantom Channel. Yeah, buddy, I uh, take this Phantom camera and travel all over the place filming with all kinds of super amazing people. Really cool, fun slow motion videos if you want to check that out. Sweet, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to tune in for next time for more videos. Thanks so much for <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Brandon Baldwin now.